Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. This is RxJS full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the last episode, we learnt about an important operator called filter. What does filter do? Filter will help us in filtering the values from the data set based on certain predicate function. We learnt about it. Today we are going to learn the next flavor of it which is distinct. What does distinct mean? In English plain terms it means that get us distinct or unique values. right? That's what this particular operator will help us with. When you have a fixed data set, when you have a data set and you want to get the distinct values from it, you can we can use distinct operator. It would give us only the unique values. Welcome back. This is operator number 13, part 18 of the RxJS full tutorial playlist. Let's get started. Uh, please do subscribe. Please do ask your doubts and questions in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to help you. Following is the playlist. Make sure that you check out all the operators step by step. I will take you from simple operator, make it easy to the complex ones and show you different variations of use cases. Today we are in the operator number 13, learning about distinct. So what does distinct operator do? Distinct operator will give us all the values from the source observable that are distinct when compared with the previous value. Right. So basically if you have a just like think of it like a set right in array that means when you say set it gives you the unique values. Think of distinct like equivalent to set it will give you the unique values for that from a, that particular data set. Pretty straightforward simple. I'll show some hands on activity and some examples of it. All right, so I'm going to comment this off, which we learned in last episode. So what we are going to do is bring back this. So we have a set of arrays here, one array which has some values, mobile, highlights. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some more similar duplicate values. So now you see chargers is repeated. I'm also going to add TV multiple times. So that way I want to now we can say that this array has duplicate values, right? So you see chargers and TV value that's repeated, right? So now my requirement is that I should be able to get only the unique and the distinct values from this particular source observable. So we have this array again. I am using array. It can be from a HTTP call, whatever. I'm taking this array and making it an observable. In most cases, you might get a HTTP. You make a HTTP call and you get the data right which is equivalent so let's use this observable and get the use the distinct right so to do that um, category dot subscribe and this is where you get the data so, but before we do that subscribe data and we'll just console log for now okay so this is the subscription right so let's see just simple subscription first So you see here it is printing all the values and if you see here it is printing duplicate values also right like chargers is repeated and TV value is repeated. Now our requirement is we should get only the unique. So again we are going to use the pipe operator pipe um, and then we are going to use the distinct operator distinct. So now it is says uh, value and unknown right. So we can just say give me the distinct okay so now let's see what it will return so if you see here now there is no repetition right uh, I'm going to delete it here so that you don't get confused with the value okay so if you see here now it is only giving it is printing twice because I typed twice so let me just do once and you can see here the values are not repeated right that means basically just with this one operator I have reduced all my logical work so just think about it if you have to write uh, logic to filter out values probably you'll use set then compare value etc and do God knows what all <laughs> so here I am just using one operator and we can filter the values in bank right so how cool is this that you just write distinct and you get the distinct values from that particular source observable absolutely amazing and you can play you can club multiple operators also you can do filtering distinct we'll do that all as we progress in the series but today you're learning about distinct 
operator what does it do it will give us the unique values from that particular source observable okay so when you have repeated values it will filter out and give only the unique values very very useful uh, when you are trying to filter out data all right so give it a try let me know if you have any doubts or questions the next operator we are going to learn is skip operator right there are times when you want to skip certain values right uh, for whatever reasons for a data filtering based on certain filter criteria some conditions like think of shopping cart when you do search skip the ones which are above some range or you don't want you skip the ones of a certain brand or of certain um, make material like right? you don't want nylon you want silk etc whatever conditions so you can skip those some values right that's again very important use case when you are doing enterprise level applications so let's learn that in the next episode please do subscribe to my channel please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode